someone there. Okay. Who's here, Victoria? Uh huh. Hi, how are you doing? Fine. Have you got a rolled up pair of socks with you? Yes. Yeah. Okay, and all you have to do now is answer three simple questions with the socks in your mouth. Okay? Yes. Yeah. If you get them right, you win the prize. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh huh. Can you put the sock in? Uh huh. All right, and say a uh, cigarette for me. Cigarette. Brilliant. Okay, now here come your questions. Settle down. Question number one. What do you grow a pumpkin from? And it rhymes with weed. Ah, uh, no, that's what people give to cattle. Question number two. A piece of space hardware orbiting the Earth that broadcasting waves bounce off before being picked up by a dish on the side of your house. Now, what is that? Uh, no, that's what happens in a chip pan fire. And question number three. Complete the well-known expression... Don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. What is the blank? Don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. What is the blank? With the sock in the mouth. It rhymes with truck. It rhymes with truck. Fuck! I beg your pardon? Fuck! I'm sorry. Can you do that one more time? Fuck! Um, <laughs> you say it one more time, you get a prize. That's right. Thanks, Victoria. Uh, wash your mouth out. Bye. <coughs> Sock quiz, line seven. Scott, hi. Uh, yeah. You've been allowed to stay up? Yeah. Okay, and you've got a sock with you? Yeah. Rolled up and stuck in your mouth? Uh, yeah, if you just bung it in your mouth? Yeah. Right, bite it right between your teeth? Yeah. And say, could you say bus for me? Oh. That's excellent. Now, I'm going to ask you three questions, get them right, and you get a prize. Huh? Okay, here's number one. Give me another name for Father Christmas that is also the Spanish for Saint. Santa. Uh, no, that's actually a sort of fizzy drink. Uh, question number two, a scrawly mark that you write on a check when you sign your name. Uh, no, that's signing your name with a sticky fruit. And finally, complete the well-known expression, don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. What's the blank? Don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. Don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. That's it. Don't teach your grandmother to what? Pardon? I beg your pardon, to what eggs? I do hope you get cured. Scott. Yes. You've won. Thank you. Excellent. You get a prize. So stick on the line and we'll take your address. Hello. Yeah, he's got the prize. Oh, lovely. Was he um, having to talk all the time with the sock in his mouth? That's right, yeah. All right. You heard, him, you heard him do that? Yes, yes, yeah, I lovely. did. And it came out fine. Oh, good. Could you put the sock in the mouth and tell me? What, what now? Yeah, you give me the answer as well, and then we'll send you another prize. All right, OK. OK. What, have I got to say the whole thing? No, no, just don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. What's the blank? <coughs> Thank you. Sock quiz. Hi, Hannah. Yes. Hannah? Yeah. Are you all there? Yes. Have you got a sock in your mouth? Yes. OK, let's just test it. Can you say silence? Silence. Yeah, I think that'll do. OK, now you know how to play this. All you have to do is answer three simple questions with a sock in your mouth. OK? Yes. Yeah. Question number one. What is the underneath of a shoe? Another name for the underneath of a shoe. Oh. Mm -hmm. That's actually a sort of baby horse. Question number two, Hannah. A flatfish... <laughs> named after Dover is called a Dover... Fowl. Actually, no, that's a sort of baby horse as well. Question number three. A type of popular music rooted in the gospel tradition and popularised in the 60s by James Brown, Aretha Franklin and Biggie Northern Clubs in the early 80s. What sort of music is that? Fowl. That is a kind of baby horse, Hannah. Fowl. And complete the well-known expression, don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. 
What's the blank? Uh, could you say that again? Okay, sock quiz. Hello, Emma. Yeah. Have you been allowed to stay up specially for this? Yeah. You have. What time do you normally go to bed? Um, half past seven. Have you got a sock with you? Yeah. You have. And can you roll it up and put it in your mouth? Yeah. Okay. And your mum's going to help you? Yeah. Sock in your mouth. Here come the questions. Now, you wash your hands and your dishes in a kitchen what? It rhymes with ink. A kitchen... Sink. Uh, that's actually what Frank Bruno does once a year. What is another name for football? What is another name for football? Okay. No, that's a kind of German aeroplane with a name don't really like the words you're about to say. Can you complete the well-known expression? Don't teach your grandmother to blank eggs. What's the blank? You can ask your mum. She can't say that. <laughs> What's the word? Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Fuck. Emma? Yeah? Thank you very much. All right. Y your mum's still on the phone, yeah? Yeah. Okay, well, can you thank her for her help? Thank you. Good night. Good night. So let's bye. Have... Bye bye. Right, people bust in for the cow quiz. Um, hang on. Cow. <laughs> Rules are very simple here. You have to answer one simple question about a cow. Get it right, and you win the pick of tonight's prizes. Saida, are you there somewhere? Hi. You've got a choice of prizes. Yes. Yeah. You could have the stuffed duckling. Stuffed duckling. Okay. Yep. You could have the uh, picture of Nicky Campbell doing the last rites on Roy Castle in Latin. Oh, OK. Right. Um, or you could have free tickets to see the release of The Giant Baby in Hyde Park next Sunday. The Giant Baby? So whichever of those you want to, want to pick, you pick that if you get the answer to the question right. OK. OK. Simply, can you tell me how to spell cow? C-O-W. Let's just have a listen. Cow. <laughs> K-A-W. R-W-H-U. Cow. Side, I'm sorry. Thanks uh, for calling. Bye-bye. OK, Stuart. Yeah, hi. Um, how are you doing? Yeah, fine, thanks. OK, you understand the rules of this? Um, think so. Which one of these prizes would you take? The duckling? Dunno. Have the duckling. Sure. Well, yeah, you can have it. It's a real duckling. OK. Good. Either that or you can have a free trip round the 1FM studios. Yeah, that'd do. Great, OK. So, your simple question is, how do you spell cow? C-O-W. Q-U-O-W-E. Cow. I'm sorry, Stuart. Yeah, cheers. Nathan. Yeah? Hello. Hello? Have you got the barrow across your teeth? So you put it across your mouth, between your teeth, yes. and put the tongue underneath. Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm just going to ask you three simple questions, right? Yes. First of all, if you decided to walk across a ravine on a tightrope, yes. okay, somebody might say that was very blank, and the blank rhymes with frisky. What is it? Uh, that's, a, no, that's a kind of stuff, a liquid that makes you go staggering around. But not uh -huh. to worry. Question two. Something a man puts on a lady's finger at a wedding. A wing. Uh, no, that's a little thing that you find stuck on the side of a bird. And number three. If you get this one right, you can still get the prize, OK? This is a place where a load of taxis queue up. What is oh, it? I'll try and run that. It's a taxi. Rank. Rank. Nathan, I'm sorry, I'm going to give you one more chance on this, but I'm going to take a deep breath and just tell me what it is where you find a line of taxis. A rank. I'm sorry, but uh, did your mother tell you to say that? Yes. Yeah, well, I think you can say to your mother, don't ever tell me to say anything so disgusting again. You tell me something so disgusting again. Not again. Okay, just say me one more time and then you can go. Rank. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nathan. But Thank you. You've won. Hello. Yeah, he, okay, can I just tell him he's won? He won a prize. Oh, has he won a prize? Yes, he has. Oh, right. Do you want to win a bonus prize yourself? Well, what do I need to do? Okay, get the pen. I've got the pen. Right. Put it between... So it's across your mouth, between your teeth. Yeah. The pen's in place. Yeah. And let me ask you, um, what do you call 
a large queue of taxis in an orderly fashion waiting for passengers? A lank. Pardon me? A lank. Please. <laughs> So if you know somebody whose kid you'd like to hear swearing, then get in touch with us. 71 7655 If you get them right, you win the prize. Hey. Okay. Uh-huh. Can you put the sock in? Uh-huh. All right. And say a uh, cigarette for me. Cigarette. Uh-huh. Hi, how are you doing? Fine. Have you got a rolled up pair of socks with you? Yes. Okay, and all you have to do now is answer three simple questions with the socks in your mouth. Okay? Yeah. You got someone there? Okay. Who's here, Victoria? Ah, uh, no, that's what people give to cattle. Question number two. A piece of space hardware orbiting the Earth that broadcasting waves bounce off before being picked up by a dish on the side of your house. Brilliant. Okay, now here come your questions. Settle down. Question number one. What do you grow a pumpkin from and it rhymes with weed? 